screw up a special test or for just other special tests, uh, miscellaneous. Um, the first one is called the proximal tibial fibular syndesmosis or translation test. Um, for this special test, the patient is going to be in a supine position with the knee uh, uh, passively flexed about uh, 90 degrees. And then we are going to, uh, the athletic trainer is going to stand lateral to the patient, uh, stabilizing the tibia and grasping uh, the fibular head. Okay. Uh, and then with uh, what I'm going to do with my at the fibular head is I'm going to displace the fib, try to displace the fibular head anteriorly and posteriorly. So backwards, and, posteriorly and anteriorly the fibular head. If there is any hyper or hyper mob mobility or pain, that is a positive indication. If it displaces anteriorly the fibular head, that's an indication for a proximal posterior tibiofibular ligament uh, injury. If it uh, displaces posteriorly, that's an indication, positive sign for the anterior tibiofibular ligament of the proximal tibiofibular syndesmosis. The special test that we're going to be doing is called the quadriceps uh, active test and for this one we are also going to have the patient supine and then we're going to have the knee flexed about 90 degrees and then the athletic trainer is going to be on the lateral side uh, stabilizing the distal tibia with one hand and then the stabilizing the distal uh, femur with the other hand. Uh, and then uh, while we're resisting uh, knee extension, the patient, ask the patient to slide the foot uh, towards the contracting um, quadriceps. Go ahead. So I'm applying resistance down at the distal. Um, and the athletic trainer observes the anterior translation of the uh, tibia in this position. If it translate, if it uh, tibia translates anterior to the femur, this would be a, a positive indication for a grade one or grade two um, uh, posterior cruciate ligament sprain or PCL sprain. Special test that we're going to do is called the Wilson test. Uh, for this one, the patient is going to be sitting on the table uh, with the knee flexed uh, 90 degrees. The athletic trainer is going to stand in front of the patient uh, and, and I'm going to observe the patient's uh, reaction to pain. So it, it could either be pain from facial expressions or pain from the lack of movement uh, in the knee. The uh, patient is going to actively extend the knee while internally rotating the tibia. Okay, and again, we're observing for pain uh, during that motion. Usually the pain will occur at about 30 degrees of flexion. Uh, this would be indication for osteochondritis desiccans or osteochondral defect or uh, OCD. Um, this would occur on the uh, intracondylar area of the medial femoral condyle. 